Tonight, we are tracking the crimes that are most likely to affect you and your family, and we are pinpointing the neighborhoods where they are happening. Investigator Lewis Bolden is live on the crime beat, starting with downtown Orlando. Lewis. Well, Lisa, downtown Orlando is well known for its nightlife, and last year nearly 1,500 crimes happened in this area, most of them thefts, so keep your cash, your purses, and your wallets close. All over Central Florida, we've seen dramatic video of purses snatched again and again. This crook steals it from a shopping cart, and this thief pulled a 74-year-old woman to the ground, snatching her purse. In Orlando in 2015, there were 48 purse snatchings, according to police. Many of those happened downtown, which is also where 198 people had their pockets picked, more than any other part of town. That was a panic unlike anything I've ever felt before. It happened to 23-year-old Amanda Schaefer. Normally, I hold it by the clasp and lay my arm on top of it. She was with friends at a downtown bar when someone stole her phone right from her purse. And then I felt violated because I knew that I had it on my person and then I turned and it was gone. Using the city of Orlando's open data website, we track specific crimes around the city down to specific neighborhoods. <laughs> Last year, there were 2,655 car break-ins. 280 of those happened in the Florida Center neighborhood, a heavy tourist area, and home to the Prime Outlets, Universal Studios, and Fun Spot. How does it help you when you have this information? Lieutenant Roger Brennan with OPD. It really does help us target our efforts because obviously you, you want to police as efficiently and effectively as you can. <laughs> Last year, there were 446 cases of debit and credit card fraud in Orlando. 76 happened in the neighborhood of the mall at Millennia, the largest amount in one area. There's all kinds of ways through identity theft and credit card theft that uh, bad guys are getting very creative and we have to adjust our policing styles and get just as creative. There were more than 2,500 burglaries last year. The largest amount in one area, 177 in Metro West. Retired professional baseball player Sixto Lescano and his wife were victims. Well, you feel violated. That's how you feel. It's not right for the people to violate your inner circle, your life, what you have worked on all your life. Orlando police say overall crime is down in the city 7% from this time last year. However, they say the number of homicides has doubled from this time last year. Lisa.